Hello everyone, welcome to Startup Interest. Today we are going to discuss about how to use tail waves to, to surf the dark web. So before we have seen how to use Kali Linux to visit the third browsers like deep web. So today we are going to discuss with the tail OS. I actually set up a USB pin drive which has the tail OS. I'm not running on my system. I, I boot into the bootable drive. So now all the tail OS is running on my USB. It is not running on my PC. I'm actually interacting with my USB for this tail OS. In the tail OS, initially you need to set up a persistent folder. Anything that you may change. Actually, tail OS, if once you use the system and you shut down, everything it will arise. If you do the persistence folder, it will keep things for you, along with the anonymity and the safe browsing. So you can let's now get to the tools, the tools that what we have. Uh, let's go to, sorry, okay, okay. These are the tools that comes by default into the tail OS. So make sure when you are uh, booting up the tail OS, it will ask you to set up the root. It won't ask actually, you need to go to administrator and add it and they give the password and then confirm the password. Without that, you cannot interact on the terminal. But here we're not talking about any commands. Okay, this, this tail OS is pre-built in all Tar browsers, Onion circuits. You can see here, it is installed with the Tor connection. So let me connect to the Tor. Connect to Tor. So now we are connecting to the Tor network. Whatever you do into the system, no one can track you because it is on the USB. It is not your uh, uh, PC to have a MAC address, to have an IP address, nothing. This is direct to the USB pen drive. So once you go to the browser, from Windows, you can go to Chrome and download uh, Tail OS. Go to the browser and download the Tail OS. Start to browse. So once you download the Tail OS, you can use Rufus. Rufus is a another tool that can help you to bind your ISO file into your bootable pen drive. Once you connect, then you can go to the bootable drive options and then select the USB pen drive as the first option. Yes, you can see here. This is the Tail OS. Actually, I wanted to record oh, from the tail wire screen, but it is not possible. I try some of the commands installing FF MPEG and it is not compatible with it. I'm sorry for that, but you can use here. You can browse through any. Uh, let me try here in the key. You can see I'm directly interacting with the dark web. There is no additional setup I require. Direct. Because tail wires, once you uh, whatever you check here, anything that you check, and then and then you turn off the system and then turn on whatever you did before is all erased. So this is completely made for privacy and anonymity. So with this tail OS, you can you can go into the dark web and check anything. But before that, please, I do not encourage any illegal activities. This video is for educational purpose. I'm showing you some of the a tools that how you can use and how you can be hidden and they keep private and be anonymous and then check the contents that you you, you require so tail OS once you go to the website they can give you uh, the USB option to download where is it so you can install it uh, yes for USB sticks just click this you can download once you download and you can open a Rufus a Rufus software and then plug your USB and select the USB drive and select the ISO file of tail OS and then click start. After one or two minutes, then you can turn off the system and again unplug and plug your USB pen drive and boot it. So make sure you choose the USB pen drive as your bootable drive in the beginning and then it will directly start the OS. No additional setup is required unless the basic things like persistent storage just to keep things when you install any application that you might need. You can, you can just, it should, it should have in it. That's why. Otherwise, it will erase everything. So, uh, but it will be slow. I don't know why. Maybe my Wi-Fi is not reaching. Maybe my Wi-Fi is not reachable. I think so.
but you can see you can directly interact this is completely uh, anonymous okay there we go you can see a lot of links i'm sorry i'm shooting from mobile phone if video might shake please do not worry take your time to understand what i'm doing here uh, and also you can check the application that we use tab browser tar connection persistent tour storage tail documentation wish for back error reporting tail clone all of these tools i'm not familiar but i'm familiar with keep us xc this one there is a version available for windows to store your uh, any social media any password that you forget you can use this tool this is very 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 good tool and it is open source it's free i don't know cleopatra what it is but i had this name before somewhere text editor graphics image viewer inkscape i don't know maybe it is a tool for image internet uh, bitcoin wallet onion circuits i don't know what it is let's check i don't know what is all about but we'll get to know uh, sorry and then uh, we have onion share plugins thunderbird tar browser tar connection unsafe browser i don't know what it is uh, starting the unsafe browser this may take while to unsafe so i don't want to be unsafe i want to be safe okay and then okay where are the hidden links just type and you can go through all of the links and see what content is there in the dark web uh, it's a big document eh? there are some of the links you can also go through other links to find more information there are, there are a lot of pages that you have by default the tar browser will, will help you with the search engine of the, the go and i cannot show you much details here once you are into tar browser and the hidden wiki files you find then you can go to one by one to find what is the content is available in the dark web but again i want to warn you to enter into the dark web is not illegal to do any illegal things or bad things is illegal like selling stuff here and and make sure do not click anything like any apps to download so it is not good because the attackers can uh, can have your device footprinting and they can track you back since i'm using usb pen drive and this one once i plug out it's gone there is no way that uh, people can uh, check for this system because it is running on the usb pen drive it's not on the pc so once i plug out boom you are completely private I'm completely 100 percent sure you are anonymous and uh, thank you for watching my video so uh, in, in coming videos i will also show you in kib os is more secure than the tail os we'll also do the video on that i'm sorry for the bad video that i'm shooting on my android phone since because the tail warriors doesn't have any screen record i try and some comments they are not working and i do not want to waste my time so this time please be do not worry much about the uh video but you know what you need to do with this video i hope you, you are getting some skills please keep learning and thank you subscribe to my channel so i'll see you in the next video